In this video, we're going to be talking about brakes. Uh, specifically hydraulic brakes for my go-kart. I bought a cheap hydraulic brake kit on Amazon. I think it was like $25. I've already bought this twice because I like it so much. The reason I bought it twice is because the first set I have, I took the hydraulic hose off and put it on my Goldwing. So uh, the way it is right now, it's not functional because the master cylinder is not connected to the caliper. And because it's so cheap, I figured I'll just buy a whole nother set. As opposed to taking the hose off the Goldwing and trying to find a new hose for the Goldwing, it probably would cost the same just for a hose. There was a bracket right here that was holding the mechanical caliper on. I just cut that off with the angle grinder. So all I did was just weld on some one inch square tubing onto the existing frame right next to the brake disc that was already on the axle. And I just measured some bolt holes and mounted this bad boy up. This is the existing brake linkage here that comes from the pedal. So this comes from the pedal here. You can see when I push the pedal down, it rotates this shaft down here, which pushes up on the master cylinder here. So the only fabrication I really had to do was a mount for the caliper, a mount for the master cylinder, and then one arm off of this existing shaft that connected to the linkage on the master cylinder here. The reason I swapped out my brakes for hydraulic brakes in the first place is because the mechanical brakes are really annoying. You have to get in there and tighten the little bolt to adjust for the brake pad wear. And every time you accidentally leave your emergency brake on, the brake pads wear out and uh, it just ended up getting to the point where I had almost no brakes all the time. But with hydraulic brakes, it's really nice because they self-adjust for brake pad wear. And the kit that I got from Amazon actually comes with an extra set of pads. So that's pretty nice. One thing I did do that you probably want to consider if you're doing this, between where I mounted this and the disc brake, there's not a lot of clearance. Here's the new bracket. Here's the old one. I cut a bunch of this off the new bracket and I drilled in my own mounting holes and I tapped them, which was important because I didn't have room for a nut on the other side here. It would have been rubbing up against the disc brake. So I tapped these holes and that worked pretty great. I'm just gonna reuse the old bracket so I don't have to do all that work again. One thing I'm being careful not to do is I don't wanna disconnect these brake lines because on my original set, I disconnected the brake lines because I figured, oh, I'll just bleed it anyway. But actually, I was having a hard time getting all the air bubbles out of it and getting it really tight. So I'm not gonna open the brake lines and try to bleed it because I wanna see how tight it is from the factory. I think the axle might have a little bit of a bend in it because the caliper or the disc wobbles back and forth, uh, which will probably prematurely wear out the pads. But there is the nice thing about the caliper is there's a little bit of wiggle room there, so it'll follow the disc a little bit. But like I said, every time I drive it, it's gonna be wearing on the pads even when I'm not touching the brake. So. Yeah, it's a good thing it comes with an extra set of pads. So now that the new brakes are on and bench tested, it's time to see what kind of stopping power this bad boy has. Um, I just set the drone up by itself to be its own cameraman, so all you can really see here is that when I come into frame, I'm slamming on the brakes and the wheels lock right up, which is nice. It doesn't feel soft and squishy at all. I don't know, with the go-kart pedals, you're either just punching them all the way, gas or brakes, or you're not touching them. In my, that's how I drive. I didn't really test to see if there's like an easing on the brake that you can do to kind of gently slow down. It's really just, I mean, why are you even using your brakes on the go-kart anyway, besides just to come to a full stop? Slamming on the brakes, the wheels lock up. It's very nice. I like it. For 25 bucks, you can't beat it. Yeah, there's like a little bit of fabrication to do, but if you're good with an angle grinder and a drill, you could probably do it with just some bolts, but if you have a friend who has a welder or if you have a welder, that's best case, and these brakes are totally worth it. 10 out of 10, recommend hydraulic brakes. Stick around, 
to the channel. Stick on the channel. Stick to the channel. Watch more of my videos if you want to see more go-kart stuff. Thank you.